In this video, I'm going to discuss the question of exactly how many formulas we need for teaching uh, perimeter, area, and volume. Now, one textbook seems to think that we need at least six formulas for perimeter. What I teach my students is one formula, which is perimeter equals sum of all sides, and that seems to work just fine. The same textbook seems to think we need at least six formulas for area. Well, I prefer to teach, again, just one formula, which is length times width. And for a few shapes, I then need to modify the formula slightly. So for example, area of a rectangle is just length times width. Area of a parallelogram is length times width. That's because a parallelogram can be turned into a rectangle. Area of a triangle, well, a triangle is just half of a parallelogram, so it's length times width, but then we have to divide by two. And finally, the area of a trapezium, well, that's also length times width, but for the length, you have to use the average length, which means you add the two parallel sides and divide by two. So all of those shapes um, can get by with just one formula. Now, volume of a prism, one formula, volume equals area of the base times the height. Note that I include cylinders in my definition of a prism since it fits the formula. Uh, volume of what I call pointy things, in other words, uh, pyramids and cones, same formula, area of the base times the height, but then you have to divide by three to get the volume. And finally, surface area. This is pretty much of any 3D shape that has uh, surfaces. Um, just add up all the sides. So some of the face areas, I prefer to just say some of all faces. And that, of course, also works for a cylinder. Now, finally, we have to have some special formulas for what I call circly things. So the circumference of a circle, pi times diameter. Note that I use um, that formula rather than 2 pi r, because 2 pi r looks too much like pi r squared. Area of a circle, pi r squared. Surface area of a sphere is four of those, four pi r squared. And volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. And that's all you need to teach perimeter, area, and volume.